knows everything we feel. He promised that when two or three get together in his name, he would be there with them, even in Ravensbrück. In our lives before, we would have been separated by so much. But here, all that has been stripped away. And we see the truth. Jesus, in each one of us, light in this darkness. And we can praise him together. I want to speak to these people here tonight, and I want to speak also to uh, everybody who's in a similar condition. From the U.S., my dad has always resented to me, and to this day, he's an old man who doesn't love me. Please pray for God's love to reach my life for forgiveness and healing and compassion. From Miami, Florida, God, remove all this lust and replace it with grace. Replace it with peace. Take me to better things. Amen. From Angola, I ask for help in prayer for my professional, sentimental, and spiritual and financial life. God, free me from the spell and curse. Now, I don't know what the spell and curse is in Angola, but I do know that Christ set you free. If you turn to him, he'll set you free. From Fort Lee, my heart is hurting. I lost my mom a few months ago, and I feel betrayed by my husband. My kids are sad too. Jesus, please heal me, my children, and our marriage. From Moosonee, Canada, I can't take this anymore. I'm tired. Am I believing wrong? I hate this spirit of fear. I need deliverance, and I need healing in my body. Jessica, we're going to believe God for you tonight as well. From Salem, Indiana, Joshua says, I'm in a storm of supernatural proportions. My life is utterly shattered. Father, I call out to you. From Florida, please pray for a fresh baptism of God's Holy Spirit. I need deliverance from pornography and having to control everything. From Anchorage, Alaska, Eva says, please pray for me. I'm drinking almost every day, except when I'm working. From Sweden, Lord, help me. I can't go on being with a man who doesn't love me and has dating apps on his phone. So much is wrong, and I'm weak. From Monica and Knotts in the United Kingdom, please pray for a new love in our marriage and for the complete complete healing of our marriage. I give all to you, Jesus, and I thank you and praise you for your will alone. And this is, uh, what I've just read to you is symptomatic of so many people who are, they're, they're waiting for their miracle. And that's what I want to talk to you about tonight. Everybody who's, you've just been waiting and you're, 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 you're almost like the people of Israel were many years ago when there was, between the Old Testament and the New Testament, there was a 400 year period of silence where seemingly God was not speaking to the people. And, and many people tonight, that's what you feel like. Say, God, it's been so long. I've been waiting for you. Where are you? Would you be surprised if I told you tonight that we are on the edge of experiencing a supernatural visitation of God one more time in our generation? I speak that prophetically. I know it in my heart. We are at a moment where Christ is coming. And there's, there was a voice that God raised up. It was a message. Now, in our generation, it's not going to be in the generation of Jesus. It was one man, one voice. His name was John the Baptist. In our generation, there's going to be many voices raised, many men and women who are locked in with God, and they're starting to hear. We're all hearing the same thing. We are hearing the same thing. We're on the edge of a visitation of God. And before God does something, he sends voices in to call the people, to call the people's attention to the fact that he's coming. He's coming to do things that only God can do. I'm not, I'm not, this is not wishful thinking on my part tonight, my friend, that I'm talking to tonight, wherever you are, in your home, your living room, whatever group, whatever country, this is not wishful thinking. Christ is returning to this world soon, and before he returns, he, in his mercy, is going to gather everyone who can still hear his voice, everyone who's still at the side of the road crying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, everyone who's looking for a reason for life, everyone who's sick and tired of being sick and tired, everyone who's in a storm and they don't know how to get out, everyone who's who's just crying and they're saying God where are you it seems like 400 years have been crying out to you and, and you're not answering my prayer then then suddenly the Word of God comes to a man and everything is going to the beat and everything is going to the beat and everything is going to the
God's sake, I bless you.